Hello, my name is Kim Hilliard and I am the author and illustrator of <gasps> Frida the Rock and Roll Moth which features on the Summer Reading Challenge 2024 book list. Frida the Rock and Roll Moth stars Frida. She wears pointy boots, she plays a purple guitar and her music is loud. Frida the Rock and Roll Moth is a story about finding your confidence. At the start of the book, Frida is sad because she has no one to play music with. Then one day, do 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 do, the big bright light appears and soon there are more musical moths rocking out than ever before. Frida can't wait to play with them, but the closer she gets, the smaller she feels and the smaller she feels, the harder it is to join in. Frida decides the best way to find her confidence is to change everything. She changes her boots, she changes her guitar, she even changes her music. The story follows Frida as she realises that the best way to find your confidence is to turn up in a way that feels right and good for you. I wrote the story to inspire us all to be ourselves. There is only one you in the whole world and that is a brilliant thing. Your story, your art, your voice is important. I hope by looking at all of the wonderful stories on the Summer Reading Challenge, you are inspired to create something this summer. I thought perhaps we could even get started right now. I'm going to show you how I draw Frida and along the way perhaps you can design and draw your very own rock and roll moth. So let's go! Today I'm using a paintbrush and some black ink and a white piece of paper. You can use crayons, felt tips, pencils, whatever you like, whatever colour you like. I've started by drawing Frida's head which looks like an egg laying on its side. I'm then going to add her two very big eyes. And two very big pupils inside her eyes as well. Frida's got a tiny little smile and you can see it comes up quite far, the smile on her head, in the middle of her head. Now I've added the thick black eyeliner underneath her eyes, some freckles and her antennae. Her dress is this wide shape and her collar and I've decorated this with a little ribbon and it's covered in stars. Of course your rock moth can wear anything that you like. You can add different colours to their outfit. Doesn't need to be a dress of course, although I think Frida's really wearing some kind of rock cape. There we go. Now I'm going to add in Frida's arms. Just neaten up this side here. Lovely. And her arms and legs are very easy. Just lines. One arm up. And one arm down. She's waving. Hello. Four legs. And at the end of each leg, Frida's pointy boots. What will your rock and roll moth wear on their feet? Not forgetting Frida's wings. Two wings on each side. And I've also drawn a line underneath her feet, you can see, so it looks like she's standing on something. And here I'm writing her name, Frida the Rock and Roll Moth. I'm sure you can come up with a fantastic name for your moth. And just some details around the outside, some little music notes. And she's finished. <laughs> I hope you enjoy creating an amazing rock moth. Bye. Bye.